good morning i feel like i start every single vlog in bed but it's 5 30 a.m we're getting up and we're gonna go run eight and a half miles but first we're gonna go watch the sunrise on the beach so let's get this morning started and stuff and I'm gonna change but I'm actually changing not into running clothes but into a sweat set because I'm gonna watch the sunrise and obviously it's like 55 degrees by the beach because it's so early in the morning so I'm gonna bring my gym bag and pack along all of my running stuff for when it is time to run so I'm gonna bring my sports bra and I'm gonna bring a pair of shorts. These are my favorite shorts, they're from Gilly Hicks. You've definitely seen them before if you've watched my channel because I literally wear them every time I go on a long run because they're my favorite. Then just in case it's super cold, I'm bringing a long sleeve to wear over my sports bra. And then for after my run, I'm bringing electrolytes. I use the brand Element. And then I'm also, of course, going to bring my running shoes, but those are downstairs. That is everything that we're bringing. Obviously, I'm going to bring my AirPods and whatnot, but I'm super excited, kind of scared. Today is hopefully going to be the farthest I've ever run. Today, we're running eight and a half miles, so I'm really hoping it's a good one. It's currently 541, and the sunrise is at 645, and it's about... A 30 minute drive so as long as I leave by 6 we should be good I'm gonna change grab a Celsius brush my hair and then we will be good to go before we go I'm eating some green grapes for those of you who don't know green crunchy grapes are my favorite thing in the entire world and I just found literally the best ones from Whole Foods so listen oh my god so good I'm gonna eat some of these for some carbs before my run. If you guys have watched my other vlogs, you know I don't really like to eat that much before my long runs. That's just how my body works. I find that I can run perfectly fine. I just need like some fruit or some bread before. But when I eat too big of a meal before my runs, I never can digest it in time. And then my stomach ends up really hurting. So this isn't for like optimal fat loss or anything like that. It's just personal preference. So I'm gonna eat these grab a celsius and then we're gonna hit the road we made it into the car i have my celsius mm. oh i literally love them so much i have one every single day and every single day i look forward to it and like this is not sponsored i just love them anyways I'm really excited because even though I don't live on the beach, it's really clear outside right now. And I checked the weather and it says that it's going to be clear on the beach. So hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, we're going to have a really good sunrise this morning. So I'm super excited. Like I said, it's a 30 minute drive. So I'm going to start driving, sip on my Celsius, listen to some music with some super good vibes to just start to like wake me up get me motivated, get me excited, put me in the right headspace to run so far. I'm really hoping it's a good run because honestly my legs have been really sore, so hopefully they can last. I'm honestly not that tired because I went to sleep really early last night. I had like a super chill night in even though it was like a Friday night. I'm really working on breaking the need to feel like I have to go out every Friday, like even if my friends are going out, because at the end of the day, I know my goals, I know it's gonna make me feel my best, and I know what I need, and yesterday, I was way too tired to do anything, so I just went on a walk, hung out with my family, and went to sleep at 10. And here we are at 5.30, not feeling too tired, nothing like that. No Saturday scaries, if you will. We're up, we're alive, we're awake, we are ready to run. So I'm very happy about my decision yesterday because now I'm able to be here very happily and wide awake. Anyways, enough of that. Let's start driving and let's go watch the sunrise. So we made it. But let me show you guys my view really quick. Um, super cloudy, but this little section gives me some hope. 
because I feel like the actual sky is clear, but there's just some fog. So I'm hoping that the fog maybe like clears out for the sunrise, fingers crossed. But even if it doesn't, it's still beautiful. I still love just knowing that I'm watching the world wake up, even if it's not the most colorful. And a past version of myself might have called this a fail if the sunrise doesn't like have any colors. But I'm really trying to work on appreciating the little things in life and appreciating that things can still be beautiful even when they're not perfect. So I'm just gonna chill here, listen to music, watch the sunrise, and then I'm actually gonna change where I'm parked because this is my favorite place to watch the sunrise because it's right in front of the water. So pretty. But for my long run, I'm actually gonna park in front of a coffee shop and then I'm gonna run four miles out and then four miles back so that my run actually ends back at the coffee shop, which will also be by my car, which is super Super nice and then I can get coffee as a little reward so that's the plan let's watch the sunrise hopefully more colors come and if they don't that's fine also you guys I don't know what is happening but I'm breaking out a little bit on this side and also this side that's okay but it's bothering me because they're the type of pimples that like hurt because it's underneath your skin I don't know anyways it's sunrise time into being able to run eight and a half miles. Okay, so hear me out. An eight and a half mile run is really a five mile run, and then you have to run an extra three miles. But the three miles is actually a two mile run, and then a one mile cool down, and then the half mile like isn't even, it doesn't exist. Like we just disregard it. And then once you hit eight miles, you're like, oh, only half a mile left. So that is how I break it down. And then if I'm feeling super unmotivated, I'm like, okay, it's a three mile run. Once I hit three, oh, it's only a five mile run. And then once I hit five, I'm like, oh, it's only another three with a two and then a one. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm telling you it works. Because right now, eight and a half miles sounds like so long, but when I break it down like that, it's a lot more manageable. Also, I'm so glad that I decided to bring this long sleeve because it's actually really cold. And honestly, I feel like this is cuter with my blue shorts. Okay, running fit is on. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty motivated, but it just sounds like it's gonna be a really long run, which it is, but I know I'm gonna feel amazing after. I'm gonna feel so proud, and this coffee is gonna taste extra good. So, let's go do some warm-up stretches and get this run started.
7.1. My first ever half marathon. We did it. There's no way I just ran a half marathon. I'm literally in shock. I didn't even plan it. I was just having an amazing run, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, we're talking about my reward, which is this fat cookie, and I'm gonna review it for you, and it's Nutella. So I don't know if there's stuff in the... <gasps> Kidding me. Are you literally kidding me right now? Okay, first bite. Oh my god. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. The entire half marathon was worth it. I just am literally on top of the world and this just oh my god. It's called balance, baby. You guys. I'm literally in shock right now. I did not start this vlog thinking that this would be my half marathon vlog. I just ran my first ever half marathon and I literally wasn't planning to at all. Like I was fully planning my eight and a half mile run, whatever. I'm gonna make my electrolytes actually while I tell you guys. Again, Element, they're my favorite and I'm so glad I brought them today of all days because sometimes I don't. Anyways. I ran my eight and a half miles and I got to my five mile point where I'm like, okay, only three miles left and it literally flew by. Like I felt amazing, no cramps, no breathing problems. I was literally enjoying the view, running by the beach. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And then I was like, wait, like, should I go for 10? But I was like, let me get to eight and see how I feel. Got to eight, still felt amazing. And I was running by the beach and I was like, this is literally the perfect place to like make a new PR. So then I was like, okay, let's go for 10. Then I hit 10 and I was like, oh my God, I've never run this far before. Should I just do my half marathon and get it over with? Cause I'm already here. I had signed up for a half marathon in about like two weeks. And I was like, what difference is two weeks gonna make? Like I can do it right now. I should just do it. And I felt amazing. I was running and I discovered a farmer's market and I was like, okay, like this is so cute. This is literally my sign. And then I got a Jolly Rancher from one of the booths as I was running by and I was like, this is exactly what I needed to finish my three miles. And I did. I finished my half marathon on the beach. I'm so proud, I'm so excited. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel or following me on any of my social media platforms, you guys have known how long I've been training for this and just like how long I've been talking about it. And I set this goal to run a half marathon in 2021 and I never achieved it. And I set it again in 2022 and I never achieved it. And for 2023, I set it as my new year's resolutions and I can finally cross it off and I'm just so proud right now. And then of course you guys saw I rewarded myself with a Nutella filled chocolate chip cookie and when I tell you nothing has ever tasted better, I don't know if it's just because I ran a half marathon or because it was the cookie, but you guys, like it's literally just been a perfect morning. I did all of my favorite things. I watched the sunrise, moved my body, ran a half marathon, hello, and got a cookie. Literally all of my favorite things. So I'm literally just so happy. I'm feeling on top of the world right now. I'm gonna drink my electrolytes, drive home, and take a shower because it is very much needed. And also make some good food because the cookie was delicious, but I'm definitely gonna need some protein. <laughs> camera and give you guys a little update you guys saw I came home I showered and then I made myself a fat stack of protein chocolate chip pancakes I used the Kodiak mix and you guys know I try to have protein in every meal that I eat but honestly I just like protein pancakes because I think they taste better than buttermilk pancakes so that was our like post run meal after the cookie and then I came to my room took a nap and haven't gotten out of bed since it is now almost four o'clock and we are still in bed I've just been relaxing, scrolling on TikTok, literally rotting in bed, so needed. I also stretched to help with recovery. You guys saw I drank my electrolytes. Now I'm just drinking more water to really try to help prevent like cramping and soreness tomorrow. 
but I can already like feel my legs cramping up and I just know that tomorrow when I wake up I'm gonna be so sore. My mom actually surprised me and she said as like a little surprise gift for completing my first ever half marathon she's gonna take me to go get like a real proper foot massage. So I think in about like 20 minutes me and my mom are gonna go to the salon and get foot massages together which is so exciting because I've never got in like a real foot massage before. So super super excited for that. Oh also you guys this hoodie is my newest obsession. It's from H&M, $25, comfiest thing you will ever wear. I get a medium so that it's a little bit oversized. Definitely go buy one because I feel like it's so fall and it's so comfy. But yeah, that's the little update. That's all I've been doing all day. I didn't want this vlog to be like misleading and you guys think that I ran a half marathon and then had like a super productive day because literally that half marathon took everything out of me and I'm so dead. I'm literally just gonna chill all day and like rot. That's the plan for the the rest of the day so let's go get a massage I'm back for my massage you guys when I tell you that was the most heavenly experience of my life it felt so good I understand that it's like an expensive habit and not everyone can afford that but if you are in a place that you can I definitely recommend getting one it was like $60 for 45 minutes and it was worth every penny, but I will be honest. It was not my money My mom treated it to me that being said I would spend that money on that massage The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is I stopped at the grocery store on the way back And I picked up some bone broth because I've seen this all over like TikTok and Instagram And I've just heard that it has a lot of really good health benefits And also it has 9 grams of protein in like a cup So we're gonna make it and I'm gonna give you guys like a little review So I think it's served hot so I'm gonna microwave it really quick and then I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Okay, just took it out of the microwave. I added a little bit of this better than bouillon because the bone broth itself doesn't really taste like chicken soup, but when you add that, it does, so. It's really hot. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't think I would ever like reach for it, but I feel like especially as it starts to get colder and it's like winter months, I could definitely see myself drinking that especially because it has so much protein and also it's just good for the bod. So I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna make myself like an early dinner. It's around like six o'clock, but usually I eat at like seven. But I'm actually going to one of my friend's house tonight. We're like getting all cute. I'm gonna take some pictures, play some poker. Sorry for my dog. Um, so that's the plan for the rest of tonight. I'm also gonna stretch and yeah. Okay, we are all ready. This is what I'm wearing. This top is from Princess Polly. These are like wide leg Levi's and then I'm just gonna wear Converse. I have to pick up my friend Eden and we are running a little bit late because I couldn't pick out an outfit, but now we're ready so that's all that matters. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll vlog. I'll try to get a few clips here and there, but I'm really just working on like being present. We are gonna take pictures, so you guys will definitely see those. So make sure you're following my Instagram. It is at Omelie Desai, and that's like more of my day-to-day -day life, food, friends, just like lifestyle content in general. And then I also have at FitWOmelie, which is like my dedicated fitness Instagram. So definitely make sure you're following both of those just to stay connected and be a part of my life because YouTube definitely gets a more intimate side of me but I can only post one to two times a week whereas on Instagram I am much more active and also if you DM me I promise you I will answer because I check my DMs every single day. With that I'm gonna end off today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for coming along with me for my first ever half marathon which was literally insane. Did not plan on running a half marathon today but I'm so happy I did and I'm so happy I could share it with you guys. So I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Let's get to 100k by the end of this year which is literally insane to say but that's literally on my vision board call me insane but right here there's literally a 100k plaque and I edited my name <laughs> onto the plaque because you guys know I believe in manifestation and vision boards and that's as detailed as it gets so let's make my vision board come true and with that I'll see you guys in the next one Vlog. This is Raina Beck's first ever poker night. Oh my god! What's up, vlog? I took over. This what's is up, my vlog? poker night, and this is what's up. Let's get a this fit check. Fit check. Shoes. Shoes Adidas. Girl. 
pants, Levi's, top three people yeah. eating. We got Thurston, Thurston uh -huh. shirt, the Dickies, uh -huh. then the Reeboks, uh -huh. and then okay. we, we fit it out here. Your turn, what you got on? Princess Polly, Levi's, Oh yeah. Everyone's dressed up. Oh, I'm too tall. Well, I'm too tall. <laughs> they're, they're pointing down.